and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play episode. Today we are doing some post commentary because my mic dipped up and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video at the beginning as that took quite a long time to make and I hope the music selection was good as well. Uh, you won't be hearing any Minecraft sounds today because um, yeah, my mic dipped up as I said again and I don't record them as separate tracks. So yeah, right now we are working at the witch farm. Uh, which took quite a long time to make, about seven days or so, uh, about a week. Uh, we have swabbed quite a bit of the area, and originally this is Dark M77's design, which I've modified a bit to include that glass tube over there. Uh, so as you see back there, some witches are spawning, and then they go down that uh, river and down that glass tube, and yeah, they fall and they die, and the loot uh, drops. Anyways, uh, yeah, on the single player world, um, w on which I recorded the flybys that I did, um, I used Camera Studio, which is a mod uh, for Minecraft 1.4.2, a very useful mod, which I'll link in the description. And you might have seen that there is no witches in that flyby, and that is because um, I used World Downloader to get the mod, or the map. Uh, so, yeah, that pretty much uh, doesn't give the seed. And since it doesn't give the seed, uh, that means that the witch hut is not recognized as being a witch hut over there. Uh, so we had to turn it to peaceful for the flyby. But I hope you guys still like it. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've used quite a bit of stone for this place. Uh, it's about 256 by 256 blocks in diameter. And right now we are working at the caves in the area. We have a bit of lag spike still, even though we are connected to ethernet. But as you see here, we have most of the caves lit up. I carried an X-ray machine around with me um, to light up most of the caves. But as you see there, some of the caves still have um, some waiting to do and stuff like that. Which I'll do in later episodes as well to improve the efficiency of the mob farm. So, yeah, um, today we are planning on doing something more with the mob farm. And that is to make... Um, uh, item um, transporter which transports the items out of the loaded chunks and um, makes it so that we can AFK here and then get all the items later uh, we can AFK a whole night even so yeah that's the items that I have gotten so far uh, from just AFKing a bit at the farm as you see we have mostly sticks but the bottles are pretty common as well and yeah, we are gonna travel to Mr. Chimic's ice farm, and as you see there, not all of them die for some reason, so we are gonna um, make that drop even higher, so that um, they die for sure. And today we are gonna visit uh, Mr. Chimic's ice farm, as I said before, and we are gonna get some ice from there. As well as look at his prank a bit, and I probably shouldn't be talking about the prank since uh, he hasn't released a video of it yet. But the prank was pretty epic. Uh, it was made by Hawkeye and Boogaloo. So yeah, um, as you see there, um, not all of them die for some reason. Especially if one doesn't die, then the others don't die much as well. And they poison you afterwards, those witches. Anyways, uh, we are going to head to Mr. Chimic's ice farm now. And yeah, you'll forget a silk touch pig, of course. Uh, and we don't have one in our ender chest, which is not good. So yeah, um, meet you guys at Mr. Chimic's ice farm. And I cut in right over here to tell you guys how I love spider eyes. Spider eyes, my favorite food, since I get it from my mob farm now. And that's pretty great. Anyways, I cut in here for the main reason that, um, to tell you guys that I recorded an MCCTM episode, MCCTM, multiplayer CTM, uh, with Mr. Chimic, Frostfire, and me. Mr. Chimic has already released his episode, but uh, I'm still uploading mine because it's having some problems for some reason. I'm not sure why, but yeah, um, it's taken two days to upload, which is quite a while for one episode. So I hope uh, it will get uploaded tonight as it's got only like 10% left. And that is a pretty good uh, amount of percent. Talking about random stuff, I'm not very good at post-commentary. So yeah, uh, as you see the path works. Um, 
And now we are at the end of them. We have recorded a bit at Chimix and realized that we didn't have a Silk Touch pick. Uh, which means we gotta go to the end of them and enchant one. And yeah, we showed a bit of a prank. Which I guess is okay, because Chimix said it's okay. But it's best that he shows it since it's um, his prank and it's his content, I guess. And he gains views from that, so I decided to leave that up to him and not show that snippet I recorded of a prank I might show it in a future episode if you guys don't watch Mr. Chimic. But anyway, we are at the end of the farm, we're gonna get up to level 30 and uh, hopefully get a Silk Touch pick. So yeah, see you guys when we get level 30. And now we have level 30 and we are eating some more spider eyes which are so so lovely, such a lovely food source. And now grabbing some diamonds from my ender chest which I have quite a lot of because I went caving recently, uh, don't show much of caving, but possibly we'll do a competition of Arbor Rules with one of the server members pretty soon, which will be quite entertaining, um, because Arbor Rules is a good competition. Anyways, uh, we enchant a pick and we get Silk Touch on the first try, which is quite lucky, uh, considering Silk Touch is quite a rare enchantment. But yeah, we put it in our ender chest and we head over to Mr. Chimic's place to get some ice. So, um, sit in my car and see you guys back there. Ba -ba -bum -ba -bum. And we are almost at Shimmick's place, so I started recording once again. Uh, as I said before, his tunnel is one of the most beautiful tunnels. And we grab our Silk Touch pick and head into our, uh, our Mr. Chimic's Never Portal. And on the other side, we experience a bit of lag uh, because Mr. Chimic's place, because of the multiple entities, lags me out a bit and yeah we stand around and wait for the door to open and which it does after a few seconds and here we go it has opened but we haven't noticed yet and now it has opened and it lags because of those multiple entities on the left there in his um sheep farm i guess and yeah um he's got to fix that too many sheep Anyways, that's part of a prank, um, I decided to show it anyways because he said it's okay, let's knock him off, but we can't manage that because he end up pulls away. Anyways, yeah, the prank was made by Hawkeye and Boogaloo, uh, Boogaloo made that statue and Hawkeye made everything else, um, which, um, is not visible anymore since, um, I guess, um, what's his name, Chimma cleaned it up. Anyways, uh, this ice farm is Etho's design. Ethos Swab made it originally, and now Mr. Chimic has recreated it, but using pistons. Um, and pistons are easier to use because you don't really need double pulsers or anything like that. And that makes it much easier to harvest the ice. Or not harvest the ice, but um, make it. And it takes much less time and much less bows and arrows and stuff like that. So yeah, we are going to gather some ice now, and we'll meet you guys right after we do that. Yeah, it's quite fast also, it's, um, um, I mean, freeze vice in like five minutes. Anyways, we are back at our place now, and here we have Mr. Chimic on, which is why not as many witches are spawning, because, um, the entity count or mob count is divided among the people. Not sure why that is, but, um, since 1.3 that has been happening, I think, I think since 1.3, but it might have been since 1.2.5. So yeah, we've lowered the drop quite a bit, um, about um, 5 blocks to level 51, and we placed a ice block right there, but it has melted because of a glowstone right by it, and we're going to fix that real quick. So yeah, um, grab that glowstone with our silk touch, I guess, and we're going to place it in a different place now, because yeah, it melts the ice there, so we can't really place it there. But we've got to have some white souls as we don't want mobs spawning over there. Sorry, knocked my mic a bit. But yeah, we're gonna place the glowstone and now we're gonna dig that way. Digging your about 144 blocks, or oh, that's what I've been told. Those item um, transporter thingies have to be in order to transport the items out of uh, unloaded chunks. But um, testing it, it didn't really work. Or it might have worked, but. 
um, maybe not as many mob drops dropped as I expected. I'm going to use my Silk Touch pick for this as I need a lot of stone. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I know using a Silk Touch pick is quite painful, but that's alright. Um, we have several. We don't have any actually, but we can make some as they are pretty easy to make. Anyways, yeah, we have dug the tunnel as well as placed the ice blocks underneath. Now all we need to do is um, dig a tunnel back because we need a way to walk back after we have um, the water going because we don't want to flow through the water, it will take so long. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna dig uh, all the way back there and we'll meet you guys back there once again where we'll stop placing the water. As you see, I'm not picking up all the stone, but that's all right. Um, yeah, that's my error, which I didn't notice when I was recording. But yeah, it spawned by the time I noticed. And we have dug all the way, and a creeper exploded. That's why you see all these multiple blocks, which means we got to light up this area better. Uh, you see remnants of a creeper explosion right over here. We bumped into some water as well. Um, seems quite low, but. Yeah, uh, I thought we were low enough, but apparently we're not. But anyways, we're not going to redo the whole thing just because we bumped into some water. We have just built into the water, if need be. And yeah, which is our spawning in multiple amounts, because I think Chimic has left the server, as he needs a nap, apparently. <laughs> Pandas always need naps. Anyways, uh, placing some stuff in there, and we're gonna make some signs in order to place those ice blocks. But I first don't realize that we need signs because um, I'm just smart like that. But yeah, we'll need to place some signs over there to prevent uh, the water from flowing back, I guess. Mm, so we're gonna use the stacks of wood we've got because we've got a lot of wood, and if you guys understand, having that is good. Anyways, I'm gonna make the, the sticks over there and place them in the crafting bench and make some signs. Uh, I end up making too many signs, but yeah, throw out some dirt blocks, make some more signs, and we get rolling on placing the ice blocks as well. So yeah, um, after that we take a quick test of the uh, ice farm, but that's coming in the future. And I'm not very good at post commentary as I quickly run out of things to talk about. But anyways, we go down here and we get stuck. And we have to swim back because it takes quite a while to swim back. And uh, even the fat drop, not all witches die as you guys will see in the end. And I'm not sure how to fix that and if you guys have any methods of fixing that, please let me know in the description below. Not the description, but the comments, I guess. So you get... um. We end up placing a lot of ice blocks right over here, and we cut to the next part of our shell after we place the ice blocks. So yeah, now we've placed all the ice blocks, and it's time to run back. It's quite a long way. We didn't use up all the science, as I told you guys before. We've made quite a bit too many, but that's all right. So it's quite a long tunnel, quite a long way. Good thing you got it lit up because last time we got two creepers in here and it wasn't too great but yeah um, we are running back and yeah guys I've recorded some UHC as well we did some UHC on Sunday but uh, that ended up glitching out for some reason um, when I finished um, recording and my computer froze and then I couldn't um, get the recording to work not the recording but get like um, the recording file corrupted or so to say. So yeah, now we're gonna FK here for quite a bit uh, to see how many mob drops we get and to see if the AFK stream is working.
welcome back guys and we have finished um, testing our AFK stream we're gonna go down the tunnel and we're gonna find that not a lot of mob drops dropped for some reason but that may be because um, not all of them drop mob drops but it also may be because um, some of them despawned uh, we'll never know and we have little piggy online who's a member of GG faction I should say and uh, he has quite recently joined them on this adventure on the Iron Republic server and he's the most recent member of uh, GG F faction so yeah we're gonna go down this tunnel and find that there's not a lot of mob drops there as I expected but as you saw by the video below uh, or not below before um, we had a lot quite a lot of um, witches spawning and here we are surprised by the amount of mob drops, which disappoints us. But anyways, we are going to travel back now and work a little bit on our tunnel design, uh, how we are going to make these sewers and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, um, I was talking about, you'd see that got corrupted, and I was talking about MCTM, which I'm uploading right now. And I just decided to call this series MCTM because it sounds cool. MCTM. Anyways, uh, yeah. Um, so the elections happened yesterday. I don't live in America, but I live in Canada. But yeah, we were paying some attention to the elections, and yeah, Obama won. I'm not gonna state my opinion on that, but um, I think it's good that America re-elected its African American president. I should say, because it just demonstrates how America has grown in racial matters and stuff like that. Uh, so. We are getting some more of our food source, which is spider rice, and after that we will need um, to use some of those, some of that stone to make some stone stairs and stone slabs as well. So yeah, um, we are going to be making um, the tunnel out of stone stairs and stone slabs because that's mainly how sewers look like. Also, I want to use um, something that can't spawn mobs, which is stone stairs and solid slabs exactly and some ice on the slabs so we can run back there faster but yeah I don't want mobs spawning in there because they'll be in danger of that um, since I'm gonna make pretty bleak lighting in there uh, because sewers are supposed to be dark and now we are crafting some glowstone um, glowstone lamps I guess because those are pretty much better than just regular glowstone as they look better I like the texture very very much and we just need some redstone torches made as well to light those up but yeah they'll be pretty bleak lighting and I take inspiration from the uh, sewers in Mayan Z as well as the sewers in Ghostcraft which are pretty much the same but those, those look pretty cool and I like them most so as you see there, spawning has slowed as um, Little Piggy is aligned and that slows spawning when there's multiple people. That ladder is quite annoying and I probably will remove it or move it somewhere else. But anyway, uh, we fall in there for no reason. <laughs> no apparent reason at least. And now we decide to replace that with stone brick. But stone brick doesn't suit us as we want a dark place. So after a minute we realize that mm -hmm. come on realize that we want stone stairs, right? Yeah, that's what we want mainly. And stone stairs will also help us get up onto that ladder over there. And the cornerstone stair I thought looked very cool. So I left it there, even though I placed it accidentally. But yeah, after that, uh, we place some more stone stairs as well, and um, there we decide to place stone swabs with no ice yet, but after a moment we realize that probably ice under that would look pretty cool. As you see, we are still having little lag spikes over there as the witches are following. We see that some of them don't die, but uh, yeah that get fixed after a moment and not all box fall of course anyways uh, we decide to place um, half slabs on the ceiling as well and that is to 
and prevent mobs from spawning over here, even though they still couldn't spawn anyway. But yeah, uh, we decided to place ice under here so we can run back there fast. But we also have another mode of transportation back there, which is going to include a nether portal. And what am I saying? Not a nether portal. Yes, a nether portal, never mind. I thought I said an end portal, but anyways. Yep, uh, we're going to place some stone brick stairs back there, as I think this design looks pretty cool, and it's more inset than um, the Mind Z sewers or the Ghostcraft sewers, and I hope they fix that waiting loot soon, as that doesn't look too great, it looks uneven, and my OCD is just bah, buying at it. But yeah, um, to power a redstone wrap we need a torch back there, and here I decide that maybe we won't make such bleak lighting as we'll make it almost as in the red tunnel I guess but yeah um, now decide what block we'll place down back there and we decide on some stone swabs as those look pretty white and cool mm. I like the stone swabs the most that is my favorite block in the game and yeah uh, that's a pretty cool design and we are gonna finish that next episode because this episode we have run out of time and we have spent a lot of time making this episode but yeah, another addition that we make is stone brick stairs right up there. And yeah, that pretty much concludes the episode. Um, we have some more discussion about um, how to fix the witches from dying, like that, like you see over there. And yeah, um, the plan is to finish this um, tunnel by next episode. I'm gonna probably do um, a little time lapse or whatever. But too bad you can't do time lapses on the ground or in multiplayer because uh, for that you'll need a second account or something, which I don't have at the moment. But I might purchase one in the future. So yeah, um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please give feedback on the witch farm and ways to improve it. And uh, nothing is spawning around, but a lot of witches are spawning, even though Little Piggy is online. He must be in the nether. But yeah, um, again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I very much enjoyed making that beginning part, as that was quite fun. All those cuts and all those uh, flybys. But yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And see you guys next time. Ba ba bum bum. Bum.